why people chose three phases when they transmit power. Uh, why not four? Why not five? Why not 12? And I, I realized that if you took a three phase transmission line and then you took a second one alongside of it and you rotated this one 60 degrees electrically, you could put it inside of the first one and you're, the circle isn't getting any bigger, but now you have, it would seem, twice the amount of power. You would, in fact, have almost twice the amount of power. Now you have a six-phase line instead of a three-phase line, but the voltage per foot between phases is the same because you reduced the voltage between phases by changing, rotating the electrical angle. If that works for six, why can't you put another six-phase line inside of a six-phase line, rotate it a little more, and now I have 12 phases. If that works, why can't you do it again and again and again until you have a tube that is a conductor longitudinally, a funny material, but it's an insulator circumferentially. It's an anisotropic tube. And if you want an interesting adventure in mathematics, uh, figure out the characteristics of that tube. It's doable. But in a more practical vein, uh, during PTI days, uh, we, we proposed some serious look at the six phase and 12 phase line. It turns out that the gain in power is, is not proportionate. Six phase almost doubles three phase. 12 phase does not almost double six phase. It's, so it's a diminishing return. Uh, we uh, actually built, at our, PTI had a, a test site in Malta. And we actually built, uh, I made a model of it at the time, I still have it of how a six-phase tower might look with these blue lines or the insulators. Here's another one uh, with a center conductor. Uh, we built such a line. I tested it. Uh, it worked exactly as you would predict it. So the math proved itself. Nobody was surprised. And, you know, one got a little excited about it until you realize that um, a three-phase line, when it goes into the substation, has three circuit breakers to, to open it, close it. And throughout that substation, there are three bus bars that these connect to. With a six-phase line, there would be six circuit breakers and six bus bars. Twelve phases, there would be twelve circuit breakers and twelve bus bars. So the complexity of coupling a high, we call, it's called a high-phase order line, of coupling that into a substation sort of defeats the economics of it. Although, periodically, people uh, raise the question because uh, it would be possible, for example, it's very easy to couple from 12 phases through a transformer down to three phases. But it remains an intriguing concept, probably more useful for power educators than for uh, transmission line companies. <laughs>